Okay, hello everyone, my name is Laquan Williams, and in this video, I wanted to discuss the episode of The Flash, which is the season 7 finale, which aired um, just a couple of hours ago on Tuesday, the 21st of uh, July in 2021, which is our current year, called Heart of the Matter 2, and obviously, unfortunately, um, things change, but obviously, um, the, the season finale obviously was pretty good, but obviously, um, with the flash this season um you there's been like a lot of storylines and plots and i guess you can say plot holes that kind of have kind of happened but also a bunch of storylines that have literally ran um, themselves into the ground and what they've done in the show is obviously um let us know that um there's going to be obviously mistakes that are going to happen but they're just going to keep rolling with the punches and hopefully um in the end, obviously, everybody can um, still, I guess you can say, respect and appreciate what you see. On uh, this episode, the visual effects were very impressive. Um, the Flash and Reverse Flash, uh, who showed up um, randomly, I knew he was going to be on the show because um, in the comment sections on the TV pr uh, promos uh, videos for the trailers for every episode that was happening on The Flash, in the last couple of weeks, a lot of people were saying in the comments section that um, Eobard Thawne, played by um, Tom Cavanaugh, who also plays Reverse Flash, and also um, Harrison Wells and Her Nash Wells and all of the other vo versions of him on the show, was obviously listed, um, I guess, on IMDb or somewhere, obviously, to be on the episode, along with Carlos Valdez, who came back, which I obviously knew he was going to come back, Cisco was going to come back, obviously, but um, uh, just like his um, entrance was random, also um, Reverse Flash was, was random, too. Him and Barry Allen teamed up to fight Godspeed and take him down, and it was actually um, uh, revealed in the comment section weeks two weeks ago that, I guess this was in some type of comic book, but the people already knew whether it was going to happen. Somebody said that Reverse Flash is going to be there. He's going to help the Flash and, and the rest of the, the, the team take down Godspeed, and he's going to be the one to kill at Godspeed, actually, and that's actually um, what happened. Um, Barry Allen and the rest of the team, this um, this episode, which was a season finale, um, it was okay, it was average, it was just like most of the episodes this season, it was just um, a lot of stuff that was just weird and it didn't make sense. Um, Barry Allen and, and his family fought, and obviously the speedsters fought against um, Godspeed, um, there were people obviously missing. Um, Wally West was not there. Jesse Quick was not there. Um, there was no Sue Dearborn. She was not there at all. Chill Bane, he just disappeared as well, so he was not an episode at all. There was no um, Ralph Dibney, so there were three people missing from the from the uh, this uh, show. Uh, um, I guess that's all I can really think of. Um, oh yes, um, Camille, Camilla, she still hasn't been on on, on the show since Cisco left. Um, He's come back, obviously, and made his appearances, but she's apparently just gone with him, obviously. she He shows up for a brief moment and then leaves, and she hasn't been seen as well. So there was a, actually four people missing from this episode. Um, and Oh, oh yes, actually eight, uh, seven, because um, 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 Dave, um, I forgot his name. Um, I think it was, um, I forgot his name. Um, is it Damien or D Dorian? Um... He had, he's a time god. Um, the strength force, Alexis wasn't there, and also Psyche, he wasn't there. So all three of them were gone, but the speed force said that she was there to help them, and she would be all the help that they would need while they're attending to other things. Um, I don't know what that was about, but they didn't show them at all. So, you know what's weird? Like I said, when I always watch these episodes on, on, on every show, I always, these superhero shows, it's, it's different, obviously, compared to... Um, the TV shows on TV, like when I watch NCIS or Law and Order or Criminal Minds, you obviously can you can you know you can tell if one or per, one person's not there if it's a main character, but on these shows there's four or five even six seven eight people missing at once and it's just like a lot of people don't even pay attention to that so that's why I always say when I watch these shows to tell people make sure you always look at to see who's not on this episode, who's not on the show, and in the season finale when all hands were supposed to be on deck and the whole entire team and everybody needed help and the city was in danger and stuff, um, there was a lot of people on the team that actually weren't there to help the team out, even though they were quote-unquote speedsters only supposed to help out. Um, I think everybody could have helped out, and also 
um, Cisco and Kate, um, Killer Frost were helping out the team separately, and they're not speedsters. Cisco doesn't have his vibe powers or mecha vibe, um, whatever you want to call them, or reverb, or revive, whatever. He's not. He doesn't have his powers anymore. He got rid of them and took the meta human cure, so he no longer has them. He has the technology and the um, suits to get help him get by. Killer Frost obviously is a meta human, so she's fine. But they ran into trouble. It was them two against like six Godspeed clones, um, and then it was Barry Allen, Jay Garrett, uh, his kids, Walt, um, Bart Allen, and Nora Allen uh, West, obviously, with um. um his wife, obviously, as you can see here, Iris West Allen, who was, uh, again, a speedster randomly. Um, we obviously saw that in the preview for the trailer that aired last week online, so you obviously can see that. Um, I just didn't think there it was really any reason why that they couldn't bring Wally West in, even though he was mentioned on the show. He was there about, a cut, like, maybe, like, about, I think he was, um, I don't, actually, I don't think he was there this season. I don't think so. I believe he was at he was he was um towards the end of the last season. I don't believe he made an appearance this season, if I'm not mistaken. But um, uh, they couldn't get him to come. The girl who played Jesse Quick is gone. They're no longer using her, so she's no longer coming back. Uh, like I said, there was a, they couldn't use them. Uh, so the only substitute that they had to help them was Reverse Flash, uh, who obviously is Barry Allen's uh, main adversary slash villain who killed his mother and obviously, you know, it was the cause for all his problems in his life, obviously, with um, him be becoming uh, obviously very vengeful against him, of course, um, and, uh, you know, obviously being angry. Um, Iris West being a speedster again randomly did not make sense for this episode. Um, it was, uh, I didn't like it at all. It was very forced. It was super cringy. I didn't like it as all. I was like, what the hell is going on? They're like literally about to die. There's like them versus like six, seven, eight Godspeed clones. And they're like, oh, well, she, she, we're going to throw her in. I'm like, well, what can she do? She's got no training. Um, this is literally like the whole entire city is evacuating. People are obviously being attacked by Godspeeds in traffic and they're about to obviously die. And, she just got thrown in there. I'm like, this is t uh, weird and super we uh, terrible. Also, something that was um, t it was terrible that they t t to even do that. I'm like, no training at all. Just hey, Iris, t take on some God speeds with Barry. I'm like, what do you? This she, she that's that is makes no sense. And she obviously couldn't do that because she's not a speedster like Barry and her kids who have had years of training fighting God speeds. Just randomly throwing her in there made no sense. Reverse Flash made sense if he was going to help them all out together. He helped them separately. It was just Barry at, at the end. Barry Allen as the Flash, obviously the Flash himself, with, with um, Re Reverse Flash helping him battling Godspeed in a lightsaber-like duel. It felt like I was watching Star Wars uh, t Attack of the Clones or um, The Phantom Menace. It was, you know, two guys against one where, like, you know, what we saw in The Phantom Menace, obviously, which was... Um, Obi Wan Kenobi and Qui Gon Jinn obviously taking on um, uh, Dark Darth Maul. That I felt like that. They literally had made lightning, literally lightsabers out of pure uh, speed force and lightning, and they were hitting each other with them. It was pretty cool. Um, it felt like um, Godspeed was obviously using a thunderbolt type of lightning ordeal, like he was Zeus, obviously the Greek god of uh, obviously thunder and obviously the uh, Mount Olympus or Olympus, the main one god, obviously the king over there. Um, um, that's what it felt like. Um, the Godspeed um, dialogue with Barry Allen was very fun. I enjoyed it. It was cool. Um, he was stuck inside his mind. Then he got out of his mind. And um, that was interesting. Their back and forth banter. But what I didn't like uh, was um, this is the, these are the things I didn't like. Iris West being the fl uh, a speedster again randomly. You know she's to take on multiple Godspeed clones. He's the most dangerous speedster. Um, that they've ever faced, obviously, and the most dangerous um, villain that they've ever faced, because um, he can make multiple clones and copies of himself and um, jump from time, and um, he's up there with, obviously, Zoom and, obviously, Savitar, so he's up there. I'd say he's probably the most dangerous, if he, if not, yes. Um, they gave him the organic speed force Barry gave in to him. Everybody told him, they they should do it. His kids and everybody, and um, uh, his actually it was only his kids. Barry and Iris said no, and then uh, ten minutes later, Barry changed his mind and said we're gonna give him the Speed Force. And then the um, the version of Godspeed, whose real name is Argus Hart, who they had in custody at Star Labs, 
had no idea what was going on. As soon as Barry Allen hit him with some speed on his chest, he started yelling, laughing maniacally like a crazy person, saying, I, I lied, telling um, Cecile that he loves being the bad guy after all. And I was like, this is, that was like super cheesy and like just disgustingly cringeworthy and forced. That's why I see on a lot of these shows now, just the uh, unnecessary jokes and commentary and I was la I'm just not, not not laughing. I'm just scratching my head. Cisco's like, "Wow, can a man get a break right here just for a couple of minutes? Like, we're about to die." I'm like, "I'm like, you guys are about to die. There are no breaks, Cisco. You guys are fighting multiple Godspeed clones. There's no breaks. Like, what are you talking about?" I don't. That that made no sense for him to say that. Just like last week when he busted in to save the day uh, at the cathedral church um, where they were fighting multiple godspeeds. Jay Garrick, uh, Barry Allen, and obviously um, his kids. Um, Bart Allen's being suspended like 100 feet in the air almost dying by multiple godspeed clones who were taking his speed force slash energy and li literally killing him. Cisco busts open through the door and says, I leave Central City for two weeks and this happens. I'm like, that feels like you something you would say probably in a Back to the Future type of movie or a comedy movie slash western possibly a cheesy comedy flick or a comedy show you could say that probably on DC Legends of Tomorrow if something silly happens but um like if they get into an alien shootout on the Legends of Tomorrow but um another CW show which I'm talking about right now currently is The Flash um Barry Allen's kids being killed I don't know why Cisco would bust in the door given like some type of random like uh dry comedic humor of a joke obviously that was um just a insanely weird and a head scratcher. Um, once again, Allegra didn't tell the whole team that her cousin Esperanza, who is also known as Ultraviolet, is dead. She's only told a Chester P, or she calls him Chuck for short. Nobody else knows on the team, so she didn't tell anybody. So they still didn't know what was going on with her. And once again, she was like, "I don't want to talk about it." He told her, uh, "Your your your cousin's dead." It, um, it's her fault, and uh, she made she made that choice. Um, and um, it's time to move on and save the city. And I actually was like, wow, that's actually uh, great that he said that for once because uh, literally she just uh, she powered up the um, the um, machine that was made by Chester's dad in order to help them obviously take down the um, the obviously the Godspeeds. After that happened, um, she burnt it out and they could no longer use it after she teleported there into the field to help Barry, sit, um, Jay Garrett, um, and Barry Allen's kids, um, along with the Speed Force, uh, Nora Allen, to take down multiple Godspeeds. Once that happened, um, the machine had to be fixed at back at Star Labs. So all the Speedsters obviously, uh, uh, well, actually, excuse me, um, Jay Garrett and um, obviously Barry Allen's kids, they put the machine back together in like 20 seconds and told Chester, how's that? He said, this is great. You put the machine back together. Now it's not going to take me three weeks to fix it. It's going to take me, um, it's going to take me, um, one week. And they were like, we don't have that time, obviously. So they decided to, um, oh, before that, obviously, um, um, with with um Killer Flat F Frost and Cisco obviously being fought fighting fighting that bubble um they f they they were fighting um, multiple God Speeds Cisco busted out some type of a bubble and they were stuck in there and and all the God and the God Speed clones looked at them and they ran away and obviously they didn't hurt them um so because of this um obviously um they were able to not get killed but that was the only thing preventing them from not getting killed um that's what happened um jumping back to what happened at star labs after the machine was put back together and they were trying to fix it barry allen came in and said don't worry we're going to give him the organic speed force and we have a plan um barry allen didn't tell anybody except his wife iris and the speed force that the plan was we're going to ask uh we're going to bring reverse flash back so the speed force brought reverse flash back to life to help Barry and the rest of the team take out Godspeed, but nobody knew except Nora, excuse me, Nora, who's obviously the Speed Force, obviously Barry and his wife Iris, no one else knew, so Barry was fighting Godspeed, and the next thing you know, out of nowhere, here comes Reverse Flash to save the day. Um, it was nice to see um, Reverse Flash and Barry fighting each other for a brief moment, and then obviously him saying, you got faster, what, what happened? 
him being pissed off, he ran away, and we don't know what's going to happen. Um, he was able to live, so and able to get away. I'm like, I thought that was um, really weird. And I was like, really? And also, um, Barry is like, well, I knew he was going to double cross me, but we still brought him back to life. Now he's out on the loose, uh, just like the Mirror Master is. Ava McCollum, who's back in her um, uh, Mirror Verse, but she's not going to do anything, but we haven't seen her since then. But other characters, like I said, have been missing. Ralph Dibney was not on the show. Chill Bing was not on the show, which was actually really surprising. I'm surprised he was not on this episode. He's not been on the show for a couple of episodes. Um, Lila was not on, the, on there. John Diggle, who was her husband, was not on there. So they got no help from anybody on the outside except, obviously, Cisco, who we still have not seen at his um, big, huge um, uh, Argus Labs facility, which they talked about, which you will probably never see until probably like the end of the, the next season, which will be the last one. Um... So even though this episode was cool visually, um, too many plot holes as far as um, question marks where all these people have gone and where are they at? How come all the rest of the strength force and everybody didn't jump in? They said, well, uh, Nora said, well, they couldn't be here because they needed to tend to the other matters of the universe, but I can help you. I thought that was obviously very strange. Um, how they could, Oh, yes, um, Dion. There we go. Dion is the one who was in charge of time. Um, he wasn't there, uh, Alexa wasn't there, who's a strength force, and obviously Psyche, so all three of them were gone. Um, the speed force, at, who is Nora Allen, obviously, looking like who looks like Barry Allen's obviously dead mother, she couldn't help them for a brief moment because all of the energy that she had was getting taken away from her, literally by all the god speeds around them. So while she gave Barry Allen and the rest of the team um, more power, she was there giving more power to the speed to the from, from um to all the godspeed clones so they literally took them down and then they jumped right back up and there and bar, bar allen's like what's going on we just took them down so she had to leave and she said um i need to help you guys barry said just go because you will be with us in spirit but you won't be here physically because you're obviously hurting us and she had to leave so that was just terrible like she came there to help them and she she actually was hurting them actually in the same uh, same way in the same obviously scenario uh the the whole entire storyline with the captain kramer is finally over thank god that they dragged that out to the end seriously i'm like they, she's gone she's back now she's gone again i'm going on an indefinite leave and won't be returning I was like, you, you should have said that about, I thought that, that was going to happen about five episodes ago, and you should have said that five episodes ago, and they brought her back. So apparently, she is a metahuman. She's able to mimic the powers of metahumans that are around her in the facility. So basically, what happened was, Joe West was about to be killed by a, um, a god a Godspeed clone, and the next thing you know, she runs, and she gets Joe West, and they, she, they run out of there, and she saves him. So, and it's revealed she is a metahuman after all. Said something about immoral powers that her friend has, who is her ex-army buddy, who obviously is bad, who they, they turned over to the FBI. He's got that, but she's got different types of powers. She's like Taskmaster, the Taskmaster, or the, um, I guess you can say rogue in some type of way. Well, rogue kind of takes the powers away from people, but the Taskmaster can mimic people, but she's doing something similar to that um it was just weird um like i said visually this was a very good episode as far as overall with the story and stuff just randomness like i said allegra still didn't which is like look, look, look all these question marks allegra still didn't tell everybody on the team that her cousin's dead who was ultraviolet um ralph dibney and sue dearborn were not on the show where were they um uh, Camilla was not on the show. Where is she? Cisco's there. She's not. I, I was like, kind of scratching my head. I didn't see her at at all. So, you know, and Cisco just popped up for a brief moment, basically, and said, "Oh, hey, I'm here, guys. We're here. I'm here with Killer Frost, and we're just fighting in the field." I'm like, "Okay, that's random." Um, something also else that was a question mark. Ralph Dibby and Sue Dearborn. Um, Camilla wasn't there. Oh, Chilbane wasn't there. Uh, the Speed Force, excuse me, the Strength Force, the uh, Psyche and Dion were not there, but they were out, you know, keeping the universe safe. Um, didn't explain really much of that, but just said they're attending to other matters, basically. 
um, is what the Speed Force said. Um, so that's basically what we saw. So there's, like I said, lots of question marks about this going into next season. And they didn't show a preview as to what's going to happen next season anyways. It just ended with Barry and Iris renewing their wedding vows and everybody at the house and Bart Allen singing. Uh, that was like about four or five minutes of that. I skipped all of that and just went over to the end, end part where Barry and um, Iris kissed while they were like susp spinning around in time and Barry stopped time obviously to do that because he's a speedster obviously so I just skipped that and I said that was unnecessary I just went to that and that was basically the, the end that was it so um, like I said it was okay but like I said too many question marks that, that need to be answered all these people are, are just disappeared or they're not here in this episode at all no explanation uh, chill bang was brought up randomly at the end because um, uh Killer Frost was telling Caitlyn, um, I, yeah, I'm your plus one, but I know you wanted to bring Chillbane, but he's not here. So I'm like, okay, so where is he? Um, the whole entire thing with Kramer, I thought that was really weird. So she's a metahuman, but she wanted to get rid of Killer Frost and other metahumans from having their powers. But yet again, she has her own power. She was crying, and Joe West was like, thank you, and you know, hugging her and stuff, and like, oh, we're fat friends now, and like, she gets to play the victim role. Um, I thought that was really dumb. And, uh, super forced and cringeworthy. I'm like, dude, she's she's been on the show for about six, seven episodes now. She's trying to take down all these metahumans. She tried to put Killer Frost in jail for the rest of her life. Now all of a sudden, Joe West helps her, almost dies, going after their friend who can't die because he's immortal. And she didn't even tell him that. Joe West didn't know that until he explained it himself, saying, "I've been, I got killed multiple times. I've been d I'm dead, and I, I've been dead." so many times I've cheated death and it doesn't matter because I can't be killed he admitted he was uh, obviously a meta human Joe West knew about it and then he found out Kramer was one too so that whole entire thing like I said was annoying it should have ended weeks ago the same thing with the Allegra situation and, and uh, Esperanza who was also her cousin named Ultraviolet her obviously um superhero so super villain name she never helped the team she didn't want to she was rogue she wanted to do her own thing and she went after her former associates in Black Hole and they killed her and she killed them so they all were dead lying on the floor she went to go try to save her obviously and she died that was a couple weeks ago too many questions with that sue dearborn and ralph dibney no explanation where was chillbane where was camilla uh what's up with cisco's um big job at argus when are we going to see him there never probably until the season is almost over next season which will be the last um so like i said lots of questions and plot holes that need to be explained missing people on the show who we never see obviously or are never brought up so it's like they don't exist so there's like a lot like i said lots of questions um I thought it was going to be a little bit better, but um, uh, obviously that obviously was not the case. When you watch these shows, the best thing you should do is not keep your hopes up high and not go in with a, a, a high standard of, and, uh, of expectations. Keep the bar low and you will be less disappointed. So basically, compared to last week's episode, this week was a little bit better, but overall, um, this season it has been like literally a half and half. So it's been hit or miss. This at seat episode, I give a 6 out of 10. Uh, last week's was, I would say, much better. I gave it about a seven and a half. This one was okay, but like I said, for a season finale, um, just like I said, too many questions and that were not answered. Lots of missing people. They were not brought up. We didn't know where they're at. It's just too many p plot holes, like I said, and questions and mysteries of what's going on. Um, they're saying that Iris is apparently pregnant now, so which one of her kids is she, uh, well, actually, excuse me, she's pregnant with Nora, so that means if she's pregnant with the current Nora, does that mean uh, Nora, her uh, her uh, daughter, and Bart Allen are going to have to go back to the past, the future, which is 2049? Most More than likely, that's going to happen. They can't stay there forever, obviously, because they're going to mess up the timeline, so I'm assuming the first episode back is going to be them um, having one, one last mission with Barry until, I guess, maybe like the uh, the mid-season finale uh, um, of the season, they're going to come back somehow. They're going to have to go back to their timeline, which is 2049, and then, then that's what's going to happen. Barry and Alan will have Nora. She's going to be pregnant, so obviously Iris West is pregnant, so that's what's going to happen. Um, and more than likely, that'll be the case. When they come back on the show, Iris probably will be pregnant, and they're going to show that um, because they did show an episode of her with a baby bump, but she never had it on the show. So actually, I'm just trying to see when, when that's going to be the case because um, uh, there was no showing of that so I'm guessing they're saving that for the next season so that's probably what's going to happen in season 8 um, like I said it was an okay episode it's the season finale um, it's been like a big huge like drag of a haul 
of this season was just like I said, lots of hit and hit, hit and misses and a couple of filler episodes and just like I said, lots of storylines and plots that should have been over uh, weeks ago, but they just kept dragging on over and over again. Um, the characters disappear; we never see them for weeks. And obviously, they're not even brought up. So like I said, lots of questions: Where's Ralph Dibney? Where's Sue Dearborn? Camilla was not there, but Cisco was there, and they're together now. Um, there was no help from John Diggle or Lila. Argus was not there at all. No presence from them. So literally, um, oh yeah, and s by the way, um, where was the Central City Police Department? They were not. They weren't there at all. Like literally, I didn't see any of them. They haven't gone to the police station in weeks. Obviously, since Joe West is no longer there, he'll be back now that Kramer's gone. But the CCPD wasn't there at all. Like they weren't trying to help keep the city safe. It was only the speedsters. They weren't setting up roadblocks, trying to keep people safe and put them in shelters. I didn't see any of that. All I saw was everybody trying to drive out of the city like a big, huge catastrophe, which was obviously the case was happening. So they were MIA, missing in action. So no police. The speedsters were the only ones there to help and save the day. Um, and like I said, obviously, too many questions, obviously, with this. The Speed Force was able to bring um, Bart Allen out of his coma, but made... Uh, Obviously, Iris West, a speedster once again, didn't need to happen. I thought that was forced. It was cringeworthy. It was random um, because, like I said, she is fighting Godspeed along with Barry, and Barry can't talk her through it because they're being attacked. Literally, their lives are on the line. They're, they're fighting with their kids. Jay Garrick and the Speed Force, they could all die. And um, to throw her in there like that randomly, even though she's only been a speedster briefly once, that was like a season, and two seasons ago, if I'm not mistaken. There's no training to fight Godspeed. I, I was you know, so I'm like scratching my head. So next time Barry fights Reverse Flash, is Iris gonna be tagged in and she's gonna help him take him down? Like that that shouldn't happen at all. Like I said, no training. Uh, she could die. Barry can't obviously help her keep her out of trouble and and try to keep himself safe while obviously their kids are fighting with them. Um, that was just random, but um, I feel like it was just all just like muscle memory for her. She was throwing wind uh, turbines at them. She swung her hands together like how Barry does to create wind uh, circles like t mini tornadoes and threw them at them and they knocked them down I'm like oh okay so that's muscle memory she knows how to do that and take down Godspeed's clones who are just as dangerous as he is obviously so like I said random didn't make sense totally forced very cringeworthy um, Allegra didn't tell the whole entire team once again like I said um, that her cousin's dead nobody knows except Chester um, so that's obviously another some another um, situation that they not, did not solve. Cisco popped up again with the Camilla, not without Camilla, and now he's gone once again. He probably won't be on the show next next, next season for about maybe like I'd say probably like three four episodes. He'll be on the show because it'll be the last. Obviously, and he'll need to make appearances. Will we ever see his um, big huge Argus facility that he's the now the head of and in charge of? I think it's, I don't know if it's research or development or if he's in charge of some type of department there. I don't know if we're ever going to see that. Him with Lila and John Diggle obviously there, and they obviously make it official since they said Cisco is now working for at Argus. Um, let's see, we'll see what happens with that. Um, what's going to happen with the Sue, De Sue Dearborn and Ralph Demi situation? They still haven't talked about that. It's been four years now, and they still haven't solved that. Three years, almost about. No explanation. Ralph Demi's gone. Sue Dearborn is like, oh, I'm here to stay. Three episodes, and then she's gone. Like, where's she at again? Just gone. Here to help the team, but then I'm gone. I'm like, okay, this is random. Um, what's up with the Eva McCollum situation? Her as the Mirror Master. Is she going to be coming back in this next season? Or is she going to help the team? I don't know. I was expecting her to come out and help the team randomly. Since I guess it looks like they're helping, they're working with their ultimate villain slash bad guys adversaries to help them take down Godspeed. Reverse Flash just comes out of nowhere. And he's like, oh Barry, you need my help now to take down, obviously Godspeed and. Barry told him, what do you want me to do? You say you need help taking down a maniac, so I took down the maniac, or the psychopath, he called him. Um, they were saying, oh, we're going to get, and then I was like, there was the, and I was like, wait, so you mean to tell me they're going to throw him in Iron Heights, you guys are going to give him an Argus, or uh, throw him in some type of black hole that he can't come out of, the Speed Force can't put him in something, some type of cage that he can't get out of, like a Pan's Labyrinth, or the, um, I forgot what Zeus put the Titans in. Um, something. He put them in some type of uh, prison where they couldn't get out of. It's not Pan's Labyrinth, though. I forgot what it was called. Um, yeah. Zeus put the, the Dangerous Titans. He put them in some type of prison. 
he can they they couldn't do that. Zeus, I mean, the god of obviously thunder, uh, uh, thunder and uh, the god of Olymp- Olympus or Olympus in, in Greek mythology, he put the Titans in something I forgot. But um, uh, he there was no because they were dangerous. They couldn't put um, Godspeed in some type of prison at all. Uh, throw him in the past, erase his memory. Apparently, they erased his memory from him knowing the Flash, but they couldn't do anything else to him. So, um, I mean, I don't know what's going on with that. We'll see what happens. That was um, d- just terrible. And they had nothing to do with, um, they had no idea what to do with him. Barry said, we have no idea. So because we couldn't use the machine to stop the clones, we're going to give him what he wants. We're going to give him the organic speed force. And hopefully, um, uh, reverse flash doesn't kill me and they kill Godspeed and get away with it. I'm hoping that. But Barry said, oh, I knew he was going to help me. Um, still, there still could have been an issue where Godspeed um, took down Thawn. Obviously, Reverse Flash and killed Barry. Um, but Barry said he knew that Reverse Flash was going to turn on him because Reverse Flash does not want anybody to kill me except him. He's the only one that can do it. Um, I thought that was, that was terrible, though, because, like I said, you kill Godspeed and take him out or whatever. And guess who's still there? Reverse Flash. So he's gone. Don't know when he's going to pop up again. But more than likely, it'll be the fourth or the third episode in the season. I don't know. Next year, season eight. Excuse me, next season. It starts in November. The episodes start filming in November. There's supposed to be multiple crossovers happening. So we'll see if they have Superman and Lois. Uh, uh, the, the Flash. And Diggle's going to be back. And what's going to happen with these little mini team-ups that they're having, because instead of having just one team-up, they're going to have multiple ones, but um, I'm only watching the, the Legends of Tomorrow, uh, The Flash, and obviously Superman Lois. So I'm watching every basically all the shows, except obviously um, the other two shows, which is Stargirl and obviously um, I actually just, just Stargirl. Oh, yes, and Batwoman, because um, um, Supergirl is, is going to be gone. They're about to be gone. In their final season, um, Naomi's going to be new, so she won't be brought into the fold with the rest of the team for her new show. Um, they're going to have the Powderpuff Girls have their own show, so that's going to no has no connection to it. Basically, what I'm seeing at the CW is also they're not going to be moving in; they're moving into um, a different direction. They're not doing any; um, they're not renewing any um, TV super superhero shows that they have on their network. They're moving into a, a different direction where they're only focusing on the new ones. That's why you, as you can see, if you pay attention, they are not doing any spinoffs. They um, hype them up and they show them in, in multiple episodes, and you think they're going to happen, but they actually don't. So they pulled the plug on this spinoff, the Green Arrow show, which was the Green Arrow and the Canaries, which is supposed to be Oliver Queen's ki- Oliver Queen's kids um, teaming up with obviously um, uh, um, teaming up obviously with Diana and obviously the um, the Black Canary. Um, which is obviously played by Katie Cassidy on the show. They were supposed to be on an, on the show together. They pulled the plug on that. Six months later, after we thought, after we were waiting for what was going to happen, after the Green Arrow was over with his final season, they said no. Uh, they did this with Black Lightning as well. Black Lightning was supposed to have the spinoff show Painkiller, which was supposed to show, obviously, uh, Cleo Payne, who was on the show, played by Jordan Calloway, the actor, have his own spinoff show, obviously, with other characters from the show being on there. As far as... Um, Grace and obviously Anessa goes, which was um, uh, Grace's wa- her wife, uh, Anessa's wife, which is um, who's a shapeshifter. Anessa is Black Lightning's older daughter. They were supposed to make appearances on the show, which they did in the pilot episode, but unfortunately, in multiple episodes, they said no. Last episode of Black Lightning, which was the final episode of the show, season four, episode thirteen, the day that that happened, a couple of weeks, months ago. They announced um, that they will not be doing Painkiller, so it looks like they're not doing any spin-off shows taken from the other original superhero shows. Even though they said they were going to, they hyped them up, they promoted them, they put them in multiple episodes, and then they pulled the plug on them. So it's looking like they're not focusing on that, they're doing new shows. Superman Lois is new, Stargirl is new, it's second season, Batwoman's in about to be its third season. Um, Naomi is going to be new, and like I said, the Powderpuff Girls. Um, I don't know what's going to happen after that, but it's looking like they're just moving in a different direction. They're not doing, they're going to focus on new superhero shows. They're not going to focus on the old ones. 
by the time uh, th by this time next year, the Flash will be gone, Supergirl will be gone, and also DC Legends will be gone. So it's three big, huge, major shows that they have gone. Nothing to replace it with besides Powderpuff Girls and Naomi, which I don't think Naomi's going to do very well. We'll see what happens. The Powderpuff Girls will be doing better because it's a bigger anticipation for them because it's a big, huge, popular show that was in the late 90s or early 2000s. Popular comic uh, um, animated show on Cartoon Network. Most of lots of people saw it. Big, huge merchandise, the movies, the TV show is very popular. Live action version of it, which will include um, Chloe Bennett, I believe, who played... Um, Sky slash um, Quake slash Earthquake slash Daisy on the um, Marvel show Super uh, the Marvel show Agents of Shield. She will be uh, the one on the show as one of the uh, lead actresses along with two other girls playing the other sisters of the Powderpuff Girls. So they have all those shows that they're focused on. Everything else, like I said, the Flash, everything is gonna be gone. So it doesn't matter. They're moving in a different direction. So. It's not going to be looking really good, and obviously next year. These new shows, I don't know how long they're going to last. Now, we probably could last a season or two. I don't know. I'm not sure. I expect the Powderpuff Girls to probably still stick around for a while because people will still love it because of the nostalgia factor, even though it's a live-action version of the show. It could stay around for two or three seasons. But like I said, eventually, when you look at these shows, you can tell two or three seasons, the, the ratings will drop. People will get tired of it. You can see it, too, with like Supergirl and Batwoman. You think that they would be fine, but... Uh, Supergirl's been, ratings have been going down like for like the last couple years now. Um, so needless to say, some people could say it should have ended years ago. Um, Batwoman's obviously still hanging on, even though Ruby Rose is no longer on there. She's gone. Kind of weird when you have the main person playing the main character gone. You need to replace her. Now it's like we're just moving forward, acting like nothing happened, obviously. Other shows try that. It, it depends on what happens, but a superhero show is one thing, you know. We'll see, but I don't know. I'm just, you know, I hear what, what people say. Ratings down 30%, all this stuff. Like, they're losing viewers. It's very obvious. It's been happening with lots of shows on here. Legends of Tomorrow actually has been losing lots of viewers as well. I haven't been seeing what's going on with The Flash, but um, uh, it's looking uh, better, I say. Um, I would say probably for them. But like I said, lots of plot holes, lots of question marks and ideas of missing people. When's this person coming back? Why haven't they been mentioned? Like I said, this is what's been happening on the show, obviously. And uh, because of that, I'm just like, it's not going very well. So this season, season finale, this which is the seventh season that just aired yesterday on Tuesday, the 20th of July, um, was okay. But like I said before, too many questions that need to be answered. Lots of characters that were no longer that were not on the show, and lots of plot holes. Like I said, it, just a lot of stuff that was dragging out over and over again. I'm just like, you know what? Uh, enough is enough. So, um, like I said, it was average. It was okay. Very good uh, visual effects, but like I said, um, too many question marks. Missing people. Like I said in this episode, seven, eight people missing from the show. And you're just like, wow, where are they? Nowhere to be found. So that's what that's all I have to say about this. My review, like I said again, is a six. Last week's episode was a, um, a seven. I, be, I believe I gave it that. Um, and that's all I have to say about this the Flash um, season finale, which is a season eight seven finale, um, titled Heart of the Matter Part Two. It's episode eighteen. Uh, this eighth season will be airing uh, in November of this year. Um, and there are going to be multiple team ups with uh, like Supergirl and uh, excuse me with um, uh, Star Girl and um, the Legends of Tomorrow and the Flash and obviously it was with Superman and Lois. So we'll see what happens with that on the shows where they have team ups. That's supposed to be happening in like the season. They're not doing one or two episodes. They're doing multiple ones apparently. Reason is obviously because the Flash and Legends of Tomorrow will be gone, so they need to keep obviously the other show people interested in the other show. So they have to do the crossovers. Hey guys, look, Superman's gonna be on the Superman Lois have the Flash on an appearance. Um, hey guys, look on um, the Legends of Tomorrow. Uh, we see um, Star Girl's gonna make a random appearance or um, Batwoman. So we'll see what happens with that. That's basically what why they're doing that. The old shows are going. They want to keep the new shows. Pe people interested in popular in them. People will still watch them. But like I said, you know, it's going to vary from time to time. But it's just all depends on consistency. Like I said, when some of these shows, they take themselves overly seriously, way too seriously. And they try to force a lot of stuff. A comedy and stuff that doesn't work. And we see that with lots of movies with Marvel, specifically. Too much comedy in these um, superhero movies make them um, very... Um, 
annoying and obviously um I'd say un unwatchable after a while. A couple times you're just like, I'm bored with it, I don't want to see it again. But like I said, I we'll see what happens, obviously. I didn't like the Th Thor Ragnarok. I didn't like the third Iron Man movie. They just tried too hard to be Guardians of the Galaxy 3.0 or 3.5. I'm just like, no, I don't like them. The second movies for both of them were better than like the third one. Now they're doing a third four a fourth Thor movie. I still don't want to see it, but unfortunately I have to see it to see what happens. Plus, I'm trying to see if Loki's going to make an appearance in it some type of way. Or Odin. You never know. We'll see what happens, obviously. And um, uh, that's basically all I have to say about this. Uh, the Flash and the rest of the CW TV Network shows and the news that's been going on and stuff and whatnot. And we'll see what happens, obviously, on The Flash next season. Uh, thank you for watching my video. If you um, have any questions, you can let me know in the comments section. If you're interested in watching the show, uh, uh, it's on Netflix. If you have not seen it because you're tired and bored of superhero shows and TV shows, you're burnt out. Like I said, I know a lot of people are because a lot of them just drag themselves, um, drag the fans down further and further with um, not just insulting fans, but obviously insulting the intelligence of the fans and forcing less storylines to drag on for weeks that just don't mean anything. Filler episodes and obviously um, too many people missing, lots of, lots of plot holes and questions that need to be answered. Characters gone, you don't know where they're at, like I said, that just keeps happening. We'll see what happens in The Flash next season, and obviously the same with Legends of Tomorrow continuing with a couple more episodes, and uh, Superman Lois is going another four, three week hiatus again before the season's over. They got two more episodes left, and for this first season, second season will be around I say the, the same time uh, Flash is going to be airing, which is I think in November. Um, so that's what's going to be happening for that. So thank you for again for watching my video. And that's all I have to say about this again. And uh, my review of season seven of the Flash, the season finale, which was Heart of the Matter Part Two, season seven, episode eighteen. Thank you again for watching, and that's all I have to say about this. Thank you. Bye.